So what's up guys, got another video review for you. So I'm going to be taking a look at uh, the next figure. This would be the third figure in the Transformers Collector's Club subscription service. Uh, this being Circuit. Um, you notice the low camera angle again, I'm trying something else. Let's try to, because this guy's going to be tall, so I want to try to get him all in frame. Anyway, uh, this is a repaint of Axor from Hunt for the Decepticons, which is a repaint of Animated Lockdown. Neither of which I've done before, so again, continuing our line of looking at repaints before the original figure. Um, this guy does have a flaw in the packaging. Um, there are spikes on the top here. And they were, the top flap of the box came over it and they poked into the top of the box. So you will see, I'm going to turn the focus off. It's not too bad. But there is some paint scratching on the very tips of the of the spikes, which is a shame, but fun pub, what are you going to do? Seriously? Nothing you can do about it. But yeah, you can see he's a very Mad Maxi type car. Um, lots of spikes everywhere. Uh, I dig the paint job. Uh, Circuit was a uh, an G1 Action Master, where I don't have, so I can't compare it. But uh, I believe Circuit was also from the Marvel Comics, and he did have a crazy paint scheme, made it look funky, so... I do really like the, uh, the paint scheme going on, even though everyone's like, oh, it's so stupid looking. I was like, that's what the character looked like. Anyway, it does roll pretty nicely. Uh, you can see the weapon underneath. So yeah, transform it. What we're going to do is we're going to start in this ender block. The ender block is probably the coolest part of the figure. You can just see, like, the timing belt and everything just poking out of the top and the blower. It's really cool looking. But that it does actually disconnect and become a weapon for later. So we start by doing that. Then just come to the back and flip down the wheels so it turns into a Back to the Future 2 car. Kind of. Not really. Uh, come underneath. Um, I like to fold the axe out of the way now. Um, it is the soft rubbery plastic, which is, sucks. But what are you going to do? So, so what you want to do is there's a pin right here. And a hinge, so you want to bend it at that. Don't grab it from the end, grab it from back here. That way you don't destroy it. Because you can very easily rip it. And what's weird is the hand is actually the same soft rubbery plastic, and I don't know why. Anyway, you're gonna come to the sides and you're just gonna wiggle the underneath the doors, you're gonna pop them free. They tab in right here. A little tiny tab, and there's a hole right in there that, that tabs into. And then just going to kind of pull them away a little bit. Get them out of the way. Then we're going to separate right above the hood, uh, the windshield, right below the windshield, above the hood. We're going to separate that and bend it out of the way. We're also going to fold the rear end up. It would have done it anyway when you transform it, but get it out of the way now. Let's bend it in half. Now we can fold the wheels back in now. It's just to get, you fold them down, just get them out of the way. Grab the front of the car and just pull it's on these slides and you can bend it up and pull them apart. Uh, he does have chicken legs see the back bend so we can just fold it. You can really display the legs any way you want I just bend them up to make them a little bit shorter because he's super tall and even with doing this I doubt he's going to be in frame but we'll try. So then we're going to come to the arms you can already see the face. You can disconnect the hood just pull it straight up, tabs in right there, and bend it up, and then pull it over the head. And then what you want to do is come underneath, and right up in here you want to push up the shoulder on that hinge. Don't just pull it out because it, you will pop it off the bowl joint. I'm trying to do this without popping the bowl joints off, but these shoulders these orange ball joints here will pop off when you uh, transform it. So just push up here and kind of bend it um, at this shoulder hinge up here. Uh, the tab will read this tab on the hood will re tab into his chest. So just kind of bend it, lock it, lock it in. Okay, so I got it mostly in frame so you can see what's going on here. So now for the right shoulder, you want to. Um, it's normally, when you're transforming it, this pops out, but it's what's supposed to be is like this. There's a tab in the forearm. 
it's hips into the side. So it's supposed to look like that, with like almost a straight angle there. But when you're transforming it, it tends to pop out. So you just want to pop it off the forearm if it's if it didn't come off. It just pegs in. It's clear plastic, so you can't really see it. But there's a tab here. It tabs into uh, this slot right there below that funky size port. And then we're going to uh, just fold the fold that like that, so it's straight up and down. Take this top bit and fold it over. It just kind of sits there and that becomes the shoulder. Flip out the hand, again be careful, it's soft rubber. And then on this side, what we're going to do is going to bend it up. You can see there's a piston right here. And it's pretty cool, it extends out like that. Take the shoulder and just rotate it around like that. So that the wheel well is pointing on a 90 degree angle that way. And then come back here to the door, kind of pull the door away from the figure and just rotate it 180 so that the windshield, so that the window is now pointing down. And that is basically him in robot mode. So, for that engine block, what you can do is, if you notice, there's a funky port on there. And that just plugs into the funky port on his forearm and gives him a weapon, an extra weapon. But there he is. It's very hard to get him on frame. He is very tall. But there is Circuit in robot mode. And I've never screwed around with Axor. I do have Axor. I got him uh, at TFCon last year, but I never, uh, I haven't opened him yet. So this is my first time playing with him. And uh, I do really like him for what he is. He's not a perfect figure. So yeah, I do dig him. Um, as Circuit, he's not bad. They could have done worse. They could have done better. Uh, I do like the color scheme. Um, unfortunately, with the... Let me show you the face. And everything comes crashing down. The, um, the plain yellow on his face kind of washes everything out. He does have nice light piping, and there's actually actually moldy, molded details in his eyeballs that you can't really see. There's not enough light piping. And it's actually really hard to see even with the light piping, but it is there. So uh, if you get this guy, just take a look in his eyeballs. So out of the first three, we, three we've gotten of the subscription figures, even though we should be almost done with them by now, uh, this is probably my, this is not probably, this is my least favorite. But he's not a bad figure overall. I don't know how much I dig him as circuit. Uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with the color scheme. It's just I think they could have probably picked a better figure, base figure to use for circuit. He's not bad. I mean, he's not terrible. But it is a little funky for circuit. But again, they have to use, they can only use certain molds, blah, 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 blah. But I still think they could have fig figured some, something out a little better. But, anyway, if you... Oh, articulation. I haven't done this in a while. As I'm knocking everything over. Head is on a ball joint. It's actually a very pretty decent ball joint. It's, there's a lot of neck bits in the way that prevent it from getting side to side, but it can move up and down pretty well. And you can look... It tends to want to look down. Shoulders are on ball joints, but just watch out because they will pop off a lot. Um, they also have an up and down hinge and that transformation hinge in the middle, but that's just for transformation. Uh, no cut at the bicep, but there is a ball at the elbow and a hinge at the wrist for articulation. This side does has a hinge for the, for the weapon, but it's really not meant to be a hinge. Um, nothing at the waist, unfortunately, it's locked. Universal joints, it looks like there's ratchets, but they're really not ratchets. They're just universal joints. Uh, cut right above the knee, you got this crazy double hinged knee that bends backwards. You got some in and out this way, uh, the mid thigh, and you got some pivot at the toe. So not bad, I wish he had a waist, but what are you going to do? And just watch out, because these, these shoulder 
ball joints pop off at the drop of a hat. But yeah, um, as far as getting this guy, <coughs> excuse me, if you do like him, he is very cheap. I believe he's like 40 bucks at most retailers that are carrying him individually, as opposed to the 100 to 150 that Scourge and uh, Slipstream are going for. So if you're interested in him, if you like him, if you like the character of Circuit, he's very cheap. You know, I only paid, I think it's actually, what did I pay, 37 or 47 for each individual figure, and might you, know, you can actually technically get him caught. So yeah, if you're not really into this guy, I wouldn't go crazy looking for him, trying to get him, but you can get him very cheap now. If, if you are, if you do like him, and you do want to grab him, grab him now because it's very cheap, and I don't, I don't really think there's going to be a huge price jump on him, so there's really no rush, because he's really, he's, he's meh. He's a solid figure, but as Circuit, they could have done. They could have picked a better mold. But, yeah, if you do want to pick him up, like I said, uh, he is like 40 bucks, 50 bucks at most retailers, like TF Source Big Bad. And I really don't see him selling out anytime soon. So, even if you don't want to get him now, if you do like him and want to get him in the future, I don't really see the price skyrocketing on him. So, yeah, this has been the video review for uh, Transformers Collectors Club subscription service. Circuit.